G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the Psycore Golf Ball. Now, I did a video a few weeks ago on the Almost Golf Ball. Basically, I'm trying to find a golf ball that I can practice with at night or in the early hours of the morning and I'm trying to keep the noise down. I tried the Almost Golf Ball, it wasn't registering with the R10 on the longer clubs. It was, all, it was good up to about pitching wedge. It wasn't good with the R10 on longer clubs. It wasn't consistent. And in, in the comments section, one of my subscribers recommended I try the Cycle Golf Ball because he said it works for him, so give it a go. And so that's what I've done. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the testing. So I'm gonna go in and conduct the exact same test I did with the Almost Golf Ball. We'll start with chip shots. We'll work our way back to driver. And hopefully this time we see all of the shots register. Okay, I have got my GC2 turned on. I won't be really comparing the, the two today. I'm just gonna make sure these register. Um, what I will be keeping an eye on is the vertical launch angle and also the uh, peak height because ideally these golf balls, I want them to basically perform the same as a regular golf ball, but just not go as far. So then I can go in the GS Pro software and just do shot boost. We'll see how we go today. We'll keep an eye on vertical launch angle. On the longer clubs, I'm gonna hit a single shot that's just gonna be a baseline, just so we have a baseline of those numbers. Uh, and then I'll hit the cycle golf balls like I have done in the rest of the tests. All right, let's get going. Okay, so this first chip shot's gonna be our baseline chip shot. I'm gonna look to carry these about six to 10 yards. Okay, that's the baseline chip. It um, carried 8.4 yards. More importantly though, let's have a look at the vertical launch angle. We had 26.6 and the peak height we had 1.1 meters. All right, first shot with the Psycore. Okay, again, it felt really funny because you're hitting a foam golf ball. So it, it really feels odd when you hit these things. Vertical launch angle, 30.4, so that's good. So it's pretty much the same. Let's have a look at the peak height. It was a little higher. It went a little further, that makes sense. Okay, let's hit another one. Registered again, which is good. Vertical launch angle's good, carry's good. Okay, and let's hit one more. And vertical launch angle's good, carry's good. So really happy with those shots there and it works with chip shots. So let's move up to our pitch shots. Now again, these balls aren't gonna go as far as a regular golf ball. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go back to our regular Pro V now. I'm gonna do a 60 yard pitch shot and we wanna keep an eye on that vertical launch angle. Okay, 56 yards, go in, ooh. All right, so um, a little bit short, but that's okay. Look at the vertical launch angle there, 28. So let's keep an eye on that when we hit these cycle golf balls. Okay, again, I'm gonna try and do a 60 yard feel. Okay, and that was 48.7 and 30 degrees on the vertical launch angle. So really happy with that. Okay, let's hit another one. Okay, a little pull. And that went 50 yards, vertical launch angle 30. Perfect. So it is registering and I am keeping on the foresight data. The foresight data is matching quite good. That one, for instance, carried 53 yards and 31 degrees for our vertical launch angle. So vertical launch angle is good. Okay, let's hit one more pitch shot. Little bit out to the right. Maybe not that far though. Okay, so we had 51 yards, 34 for the vertical launch angle, which is good. And we had 32 for the vertical launch angle and 52 yards, so pretty good. It's registering, I'm happy. Let's move up to pitching wedge now. All right, let's hit a pitching wedge and we'll do our baseline just with our regular golf ball. Not the best swing, but we've got our data. So let's have a look, 128 yards carry, 
and a 23.4 degree vertical launch angle. Now, the other thing I have done is I've downloaded a, a dB meter, and just to give you an idea of how much quieter these golf balls are, so I'm actually quite interested in myself. So that shot there with a Pro V1 with a pitching wedge came in at 79 dB. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Let's see how the cycle golf balls go. Okay, first shot with the pitching wedge using the Cycor golf balls. And it registered. Okay, vertical launch angle 21.3 degrees. So it was a little bit lower. We'll keep an eye on that. Carry was 124 yards. I did hit that one better than the, the regular standard Pro V. And in terms of DB, that one actually peaked out at 79 as well. So very similar to the standard Pro V. All right, I'm just gonna hit one more regular Pro V just to see if I can get some better data on that vertical launch angle. I did not hit the first one that good. Okay, a little bit better, but still not great. We still have that 24 degree vertical launch angle. So we will stick with that as our baseline. All right, let's hit our second pitching wedge with these cycles. Okay, I hit that one quite well and it didn't register. Oh, that wasn't the R10 though. That was the connector app. So let me just reset the app. Okay, we're back now. That wasn't the R10, that was just the interface um, speaking to GS Pro and that's why that shot didn't register. Let's go second shot for the cycle with pitching wedge. Registered. And we had 124 yards carry with 22 and a half uh, vertical launch angle. Let's have a look at the dB meter, and that one came in at 77 dB as a maximum. Okay, so pitching wedge is registering, I'm happy. Mind you, the almost golf balls were registering as well with pitching wedge. Let's move back to seven iron, and this is the test. This is where the almost golf balls stop working. All right, let's hit our baseline seven iron. Little bit of a pull. Uh, vertical launch angle 17 degrees. That's going to be low because I pulled it. So let's just hit one more as a baseline. All right, much better swing there. And the, that yardage looks spot on, 175 with 18 degrees vertical launch angle. And that was a nice swing. First shot, cycle golf ball, seven iron. This is where the almost golf balls didn't register. Let's go. Okay, it registered. We had 165 yards carry. So these things are almost carrying as far as a regular golf ball. Vertical launch angle, that is low. So that's a lot lower than I would expect from a seven iron. All right, let's go again for seven iron. Decent swing. All right, so that one carried 163. Vertical launch angle 14, peak height 21. The club data is awesome. I love that they register. The actual peak height and the vertical launch angle is low compared to my baseline numbers. All right, let's hit one more seven iron. Just to check as well, the foresight is showing 14.6 for the vertical launch angle on that shot with 165 yards carry. So the numbers are matching up. It's not a problem with the R10. The R10's reading it perfectly. It's literally matching my foresight perfectly. All right, let's go again for seven iron. All right, decent swing there. And it's missed it. We've had our first missed shot. So let's go again. And you're gonna get missed shots every now and then. I mean, you do with regular golf balls anyway, with both units. Decent strike. And we had another misread. Let me try one more. 
Okay, we had a register, but there's no way that shot, there's no way my club path was 15 left. Um, so the, that was a misread. It, it got the shot, but it was a misread. The foresight had that going with a baby, baby fade. So it was actually a really good shot. Uh, let's do one more seven iron then. Okay, there we go. That one registered. Uh, data is matching the foresight and we had 15 degrees vertical launch angle, 157 carry peak height, 21.6. So it is coming out a bit lower than the standard golf ball. My peak height isn't where the standard golf ball was either. They're registering. Uh, we had a couple of misreads, but I mean, you're gonna get misreads with both units all the time. So we had two no reads, I should say. You're gonna get no reads with both units. It is what it is. And then we had that one big misread where it said I cut across at 15 degrees. Cutting across at 15 degrees, that's a bunker shot. Like there's no way I cut across at 15 degrees. All right, let's move back to four iron. All right, we're going to start with our baseline shot with the Pro V. Okay, decent strike there. And we had 11 degrees for a vertical launch angle, 205 yards carry, a peak height of 26. So again, around that 30 for the peak height, four iron might be a little lower, so 26 is good. Let's move on to our Psycore golf balls. First shot with the four iron. Okay, hit that one good, didn't register. Now, I have been keeping an eye on the decibel meter. Both of them, funnily enough, the regular balls and the cycle golf balls, the dB readings are about the same. Um, so I think what's happening is it's actually the impact of my club hitting the mat, which is causing the majority of that dB. The cycle golf balls, then may be coming in one dB lower than the regular golf ball. All right, let's go second shot for four iron. And it did not read again. All right, we'll go third shot for four iron. Hey, that one registered, okay. We had 10.4 degrees vertical launch angle and 16 um, yards as a peak height. Peak height's not gonna be accurate because peak height is gonna rely on dynamic loft and ball speed. We're obviously got a loss of ball speed, so peak height's never gonna be where it should be. Vertical launch angle, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, 10.4, um, the regular ball had 11 degrees, so it's close. All right, let's go for four run again. and had a no read. Okay, that's four four irons I've tried to hit. We've had one register. I'm gonna go for two more, and then I'm gonna go to driver. Okay, we have had a no read again. And no, no luck. Okay, so seven iron was better. It was still hit and miss. Four iron looks no good. So much like the almost golf balls, when we start getting into these longer irons at least, um, we've started to get a lot more no reads. Let's move into driver. Let's see how we go. Okay, with driver, let's just do a quick baseline and then we'll get into the cycles. All right, done some baselining with driver. Um, peak height again around that 30 to 35. Vertical launch angle about 11 or 12. In terms of dB, that one peaked out at 81 dB. Let's hit the cycles. Hopefully they register, fingers crossed. And we'll see how loud they are as well. All right, first shot with driver and the cycle golf balls. and it registered. We had a massive misread. It said I cut across the ball 15 degrees, but it registered, which is good. Okay, that one registered as well.
So driver is registering. Vertical launch angle 9.1, 215 carry. Let's have a look. Let's see how loud that was. Because they still sound quite loud. All right, so that one's coming in at about 77, 78 dB. So three to four dB is actually quite a lot of noise reduction. Could I use these in my garage at night? Probably, um, it'd be touch and go. Um, and the reason for that is I've had noise complaints. I might be able to use these and get away with it. What I do like about this is if these golf balls do register with driver, I can now work on club path and um, face to path at night. Not so much worry about carry distances, but really try and dial in my swing. Okay, let's go for the third drive. We're two for two so far. And that's three for three with driver. We've got uh, club path there. So uh, cut across at 1.8 degrees, vertical launch angles around 10. So they are working, which is really cool. So that just makes me wonder why the four irons weren't working then. All right, let's hit one more driver with three for three. So let's go four for four with the cycles. And that registered. Okay. I think that club path is incorrect. There's no way I cut across at nine degrees, but it is registering, which is quite cool. I'm gonna try and hit some four irons again. Okay, that four iron registered. And let's just hit a few more four irons. That one registered as well. I'm not sure about the club path, but um, they're registering now. Let's hit one more. Okay, that one registered as well. And that club path is accurate. That felt like a really good shot. So I don't know what was happening before. Maybe it was an interruption with a connection from the uh, Garmin speaking to GS Pro, but they seem to be working now, which is really cool. Let's hit one more four iron. And that is working. I mean, that's consistent. That's every time now. Let's hit it again. Okay. That was a no read. That was a no read. And that one registered. And that was accurate with club path. Okay, final verdicts guys. The cycle golf balls, as you saw in the test, they worked most of the time. The only area they seemed to struggle in was with seven iron, but mostly four iron. So four iron seemed to be the, the point where the cycle golf balls seemed to struggle. With driver, they're registered. Um, and I don't know whether it's got to do with the vertical launch angle, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to do way more testing on this. But from what I saw, if you're looking for a golf ball, to use in your environment to make it less noisy or to make it a bit quieter if you're getting noise complaints or if you're just trying to hit balls when your kids are sleeping or family members are sleeping and work on swing path and face to path. I think these golf balls are a viable option. I do think that you can use these and work on those metrics. They're not perfect. As you saw, I was having some really odd misreads where it was saying I was cutting across the ball 15 degrees um, I had a few that didn't register, but overall, they're pretty good. They are definitely superior to the almost golf ball, and they do just feel and look a little bit better. So the almost golf balls, they're a foam golf ball. They're a one-piece construction. These Cycor golf balls almost feel like they're foam, like the almost golf balls, but then they're also covered in like this hard plastic. So it does feel like they're like a two-piece kind of golf ball. Let me just show you guys that on camera. So the almost golf ball's there, and it kind of just looks like just a, a foam golf ball, essentially, a hard foam golf ball. When you look at these cycle golf balls, they're shiny. It's almost like they've got a shiny plastic cover 
on top of just a foam golf ball. They do feel superior and they do feel better off the face when you're hitting them as well. So for instance, when I was hitting driver, it did kind of feel closer to a regular golf ball than the almost golf ball felt. This almost golf ball kind of felt like you were hitting nothing. It kind of just felt like you were doing an air swing. Um, there was a little bit of a hit, but it was a really strange sensation because you expected to hit something solid and you didn't. It kind of just went through. Whereas the cycle golf balls, you definitely felt like there was more of a golf ball feel to the shot. All right, guys, I hope you like that. I hope um, that gave you a good idea on the cycle golf balls. I think they're a viable option if you want to work on club path and face to path and be a bit quieter. I think these are actually a good option. If you like that, let me know. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.